Welcome to another social distancing social club, Isolation Nation. It's very exciting to be with you again. This is Ben Glebe. We have two other hosts I'll be introducing shortly. Of course, also Queen Rachel. We love to say hello to, and we will do that in a moment as well. But first, I have to fill you in on the last 24 hours. Uh, we had a sold out show with Brad Williams of the Nowhere Comedy Club. That was very exciting. Chris Jericho, the wrestler, hopped into the broadcast, supported Brad, and I talked some shit to him because I was hosting the shit, and it was great. I think I kind of beat him, basically. I'm a pro wrestler now. And <laughs> Judd Apatow popped into our broadcast. That was pretty cool. So things are getting exciting over at NowhereComedyClub.com. And um, we have a very fun show today. We'll be introducing our guests and our comedians in just a moment. But I put on a jacket, so you know it's a special one. It's now my pleasure to introduce the middle leg of the three-legged dog that is the hot dog that makes SDSC. <laughs> Steve Hofstadter, everybody. Uh, thank you, Ben. I had a very uh, similar night while you were hosting a sold-out show for Brad Williams and hanging out with Chris Jericho and also uh, with Judd Apatow. Um, I was responding to a very angry comment on my Instagram. So, you know, it's a very similar experience, I think. That is similar. I feel like very star-studded as well. Um, you guys, I'm so excited uh, to do another one of these. These are, these are super fun. Last night, one of the greatest moments in show history when we discovered that Chris Bowers thought thought the lining of his jacket was a pocket square. And holy shit, I... <laughs> I laughed about that all day. That he's that it's for for years. He's been doing this for like a, maybe a decade. We'll find out in a second. We'll ask him how long he's had that jacket, where he thought it was a pocket square, and we had the realization that it, it indeed was just the lining pulled out of the pocket. So anyway, uh, we're very excited also because uh, I, what I did, actually did do last night was uh, spend a lot of time tweaking audio settings and researching the tech, and I think that we're going to have a much better audio experience for all of you from here on out. We're very excited about that stuff. Uh, and with that, if you want to support the show. As always, top right of the screen, uh, you could donate uh, via Venmo. Uh, you could also do PayPal, which is in the middle. Uh, just kidding. It's not in the middle. It's on laughfromhome.com. And also, we have Super Chat uh, at YouTube. You can do all that stuff. We have a great game coming up for you later. Uh, all the stuff that you know and love about the show. And that includes that includes our uh, our front row. Am I introducing the front row yet? Or, Ben, yep. things have changed. Yep. What's happening? Yeah, do it, brother. All right, cool. Uh, let's say hi to our front row. We have so many wonderful people, as always. Jessica, a regular supporter of the show. We have Destiny. I think it's her first time in the front row. Uh, we also have uh, Tony coming to the chat right now. We've got uh, – nope, he's a comic. We've got Thomas. We've got uh, We've got Dirk. We've got uh, Zara is back again. Uh, we've, got, we've got Deanne. I think might be uh, – uh, back again or her first time I'm not sure I don't know I lose track of this shit anyway <laughs> yeah, we love you, you guys we're happy to have you uh, as always you are a very valuable part of the show and with that speaking of valuable parts of the show uh, the man the myth the fashion icon please give it up <laughs> Deanna, yeah. Chris Bowers everybody Chris Bowers hey thanks so much Woo! so yesterday I wore a red velvet jacket this is a blue velvet jacket I voted I'm Deanna, yeah. for, for five years I bought them together I was always mad that this one didn't have a pocket square. Turns out it does. I just hadn't pulled it out of the pocket. So this also has a pocket square. So I'm, <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a whole new jacket experience with a pocket square in this one too. Uh, I'm excited to be yes, exactly. It's just all white coats. It's just, Wait, it's like, oh, wait, this is a different color, to... Ben. It's a different color. So hold, you know, on, right? hold on. Beautiful. Way all, better. That looks... <laughs> It looks more like a pocket square because at least it's a different color than the jacket. But also, you know, the pocket squares usually have like a triangular shape, right? Like well, they have I can, like the yeah, like come. I just had to squish it a little. That's that's my bad. Look, now it looks. Like oh a yeah, is that square. a that's yeah, yeah perfectly that, now, perfectly now said. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. That looks. Are gorgeous. you are you quarantined in Italy? You have such great fashion. I didn't even know. That you were like a heart tiny man wearing a black hood. I don't know what that is. <laughs> What yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a pocket square, Ben. It's a pocket square. You guys that don't wear sophisticated coats don't understand how pa fashion works. Uh, I do have two. We have two amazing comics for you today. Uh, Alex Edelman is here. Say hi, Alex. Okay. All right. And Mar Mary Santor is here. <laughs> oh, there's Alex. All right, Alex. Say hi, Alex. Hi, guys. 
Hey. Uh, all right. Hello, this buddy. This is huge. I love it. Alex, right, filming cool. get, filming uh, a sequel to the Blair Witch Project as right. we go get, here. Yes. Get, in, get closer in the zebra to the room from Jumanji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then we have our returning champion, Mary Santora, is here. Mary Santora, returning champion. Hi, guys. What's going on? Hello, Mary. Having her back. Good to see you, Mary. Hello, hello. All right. So with that, I'm going to send it back to Ben to uh, let's talk about the overnight game, talk about the new game, and then introduce our special guest. Let's do this. Very, very excited about that. The overnight game was a good one, my friends. I hope you played. The uh, concept for our last 24 hours was to – uh, turn a thing into a thing. Do you guys remember it? It was name a dog. Uh, yeah, it was to name a dog. Uh, <laughs> name a ben dog, has yes. not gotten some sleep. <laughs> no, so. I did. I, I got some sleep. I got five hours, but I also, I, I like the ones I like. I'm not seeing them, so I'm a little bit confused. If somebody has hacked my social media, I don't know what's going on. Yes, that's what, all right, I'll read some. So Jeremy yeah, I Day. Them. I found hey. them. <laughs> Jeremy right. Day uh, had some great uh, Harry Potter ones. Um, mm-hmm. So had a uh, Hufflepug. Uh, Griffin Dog, Ravenpaw, and Slobberin, all very wonderful <laughs> entries. Uh, I like, uh, as I live and breathe through a mask, had Anthony Weiner. Nice. Uh, that is a dog that never wears pants. Um, <laughs> and then just, I like this one. Day also had some other great ones that were not Harry Potter themed. He had Sir Arthur Canine Doyle. Nice. Julius Caesar. A pretty so- pretty strong one, Michael Vick. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I he like had a... Steve Barkstetter, Benji Glebe, and Chris Bow Wowers. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I also like a Ashley Janine with the classic shithead. That's a great one. <laughs> Wonderful name for a dog, Ashley. I love it. Yeah, Jer- Jeremy Day had like a hundred of these. He crushed this game. Yeah. Uh, I-, I also like Julius Caesar, but my favorite of his was Boba Fetch. I thought Boba Fetch was a great name for a dog. Yes, <laughs> and I also enjoyed his submission. His submission, Christopher walking the dog. Nice. <laughs> That's a long one to say. And by the way, like as someone who I always have human names for my dogs. They're always named after comedy greats. My first dog was named B. Arthur, and that was always fun because just yelling down the street, B. Arthur, don't pee on that. Like that's a fun yes. thing to do. So that's why a you little bit have similar names. That's why I also like Jeremy. This guy's the only person that played the game. It looks like I like his answer of calling the dog Stain, so people would hear you shouting, "Come Stain!" I think I'm going to vote for Cum Stain. That's a fucking great joke. I like that a lot. That's going to be hilarious. My, sure. I thought it was Boba Fetch, but it's Cum Stain. I, I'm going to take. I was Stain the dog's name. That's a great one. I'll vote for that one. Yeah. Steve, yeah, so what is actually, game, we, sorry. Are we voting on the overnight? So, Steve, who's your vote? I mean, What's look, Jeremy threw in 100. One of his is going to win. Like, there were yeah, some yeah. great entries from other people as well. But Jeremy right, so, Day really crushed this game. This was this was right, his game. So good job, Jeremy Day. You're the winner. We'll send you all the shit. All right, Ben. Okay, so our game for today to play during the show, you can answer in the comments if you'd like to play along. And for a $5 or more super chat, we will definitely read your answer and you'll be entered into the contest to be chosen winner and win the grand prize, which is a copy of all of our host's 13 digital albums. I have the vast majority of those. And... You win yes, you have all front. of mine and all of Chris's. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> and you get a ticket to our video audience here in the front row to join us. And today's game is ruin a restaurant with one word. So you can either remove, you can either change one word in the name to something else or just add a word to ruin a restaurant. So it could be real highbrow stuff like shit cake factory or... <laughs> I, I like uh, I like mine, which is Chipotle British Grill. Yes. So, no offense to any of our UK viewers, that's, but there's a reason. Yeah, they, they got bad teeth and bad food. That's a double. That's a double entendres. I like that one a lot. On, yes. on tr- the only that way- is not what the word entendre means <laughs> or how it's word. pronounced. By the way, Rachel, you're off the hook from here on out. That was so <laughs> poorly <laughs> done. That was so poorly done that Rachel's kidding. pronunciation now... It's fine. A, it's fine. I was joking. That really was a joke. I was kidding. Uh-huh. I was, I was, that's why I said it with a southern accent. You read double entendres. Anyway, all right. You, you, you know, said, Rachel first of all, you said entendre, but okay, we'll we'll move on. 
Queen Rachel, feel free and hammer Bowers for that because we've given you so much pronunciation shit. By the way, also, what is? I'm curious to take a take a quick uh, survey here. What is your favorite uh, British fast food restaurant? I don't mean like a chain in England. I mean like one from England that exists in other parts of the world. Uh, can you think of uh, one? Uh, What's the peri peri chicken one? That is that Nando's. is South African. That is South ah. African. What is, yeah, Nando's they, uh, is very popular in the UK, but it's a South African chain. The clot is Irish. That doesn't count, right? And also they serve Portuguese food. It is a South African chain that serves Portuguese food. And the British people <laughs> are like, oh, yeah, that's our restaurant. It's like, no, Wa- that is. Wagamama, I love- Steve. Steve yeah. Wagamamas. Wagamamas. Uh, yeah, the sushi place with British food. <laughs> Think of another chain sushi place that you would rather eat. They don't exist. Uh, yeah, they have definitely, like, I, I will say, they, they have definitely mass-produced Japanese food. That is a thing they've done. But I, I do, my I favorite, just always enjoy... My favorite British fast food place is Fox and Hound, um... Although I will admit, Hound is chewier than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, name a dog, medium rare. Okay, so uh, with that said, we haven't officially introduced Queen Rachel, but uh, Queen Rachel, say hi to everybody. We're happy to hi have you. Hi, everybody. Good to see everybody. Yeah, yeah. Good to hi, see Rachel. Um, and, and with that, uh, is it time to uh, introduce our, uh, our special guest? I believe it is, if I may do the honors. Very excited about this. Um, Our guest today has appeared on Modern Family, on Veep, on New Girl, on Comedy Bang Bang. She was a regular panelist on At Midnight, on Comedy Central, Fox's Punchline, recurring character on Audible's Dr. Katz, The Audio Files. Her stand-up appearances include Howie Mandel's Comedy Extravaganza, Bring the Funny, Last Call with Carson Daly, Live in Gotham, please. Welcome to SDSC, Erica Rhodes, everybody. Yay! Hey, guys. Hello, Erica. How are you? You're, you're so professional here. Yep. <laughs> this is like sure. official. Like, this is like, this is how you do it, you know? This is, I, I appreciate that, Erica, but it's less that we're professional and more that other people are horrifically unprofessional. And like our shenanigans just look professional in comparison, but we do. Yeah, the bar is pretty low, but you far exceeded it. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we yeah. have clearly stepped over that bar. Is that because of the pocket square? Is that what makes us professional? Is it the pocket square <laughs> that got you? Is that what got you, Erica? Did you? Yeah, it's like the ja- <laughs> like the layer jacket looks, the headphones, the back. By the way, I, I I actually my my t shirt comes with a pocket square as well. I don't know if you want to see this, but it it uh. My T-shirt comes with a pocket square. It's uh, you might what think it's that? just a Marriott gift card, but it's just, it's a pocket square. Uh, it's just very fancy. And look, you could shape it different ways. Like you could shape it diagonally. You could shape it horizontally. There are lots of different. It's it's very flexible as a thing. So that's my I'm jacket fancy also too. has a pretty good pocket square. If you look, if you if you just pull it directly out of the pocket. Um, you get one of those weird marching ladies. Wow. You do it. I have a jacket with me. It's here if I need it. So. Oh, good. Yeah. I, I just want you to know that I, I'm prepared. I love that about you. You are in Florida currently. Uh, can I ask how that's going? And also, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, I love how everyone's like, sorry, you're in Florida. I'm like, I'm in a living room just like you, okay? (laughs) Everything is the same everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. Um, But I went, I came here because I was scared when this first happened because somebody broke into the house next door to my apartment complex. And then there were weird people wandering around. And I was like, shit's about to go down. Things are going to get crazy. Like, got to get out of LA. There's going to be earthquakes. And sure. So I called my sister and I was like, I'm coming to, I'm coming to Florida. And she's like, okay, but you have to quarantine for two weeks before you see us. So I basically came to Florida and I'm in an Airbnb. And then I got sick a week in and she's like, yeah, you're basically never coming here. So I'm 10 (laughs) 10 minutes away. My, My sister... And I've been here a month, a 
<laughs> You're quarantined by yourself in an Airbnb in Florida? <laughs> Wow. Wow. This is the worst story I've heard since Jesus' birth. Jesus Christ. There's no room in the end. I finally, I finally actually did get out of quarantine like yesterday. Like they like I had been better for about nine days. And so they're easing restrictions on me now. And uh <laughs> also you're in Florida where they're easing restrictions on everything. Yeah, so. basically, yeah. Florida's like yeah, the basic rule, the basic rule in Florida is you can't go bowling if you cough more than three times. That's the, <laughs> right. Right, yeah. the safety thing. You have to, I when you walk in, incredible. they make you cough twice to see if you're going to do it a third time. <laughs> I find it incredible that you were freaked out about random people wandering around your place in LA and thought got to get to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Magical. Did the, did, did the did the governor of Florida send your sister a letter saying he, they had to reopen? Like, is that are they forcing your sister yeah, to reopen her house? Dear? My niece is basically the governor of Florida. She's calling the shots. <laughs> I love. How old is your niece? Places... She's eight. Yeah, yeah just about the right. same education level. So that's same idea. all these eight places Florida that are like opening up too early keep the first thing they're opening up is parks and beaches literally the least essential business of any kind well it's the not one business place, like, i mean right. i'm i feel like it doesn't really make sense to to close those to begin with because it's like if you want to go to the beach go to, like who if you're dumb enough to go hang out at the beach, go hang out at the beach. Like, who cares? Well, do, do, uh, I mean, the rest of us who don't want to get sick from those assholes care. Well, but yeah, but they're not, com but we're all quarantined. Well, yeah, but yeah. we also interact like we have to go to the grocery that's store every true. so they often. Have to we go. have that's to. That's a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. It's it's herd immunity is basically what we're trying to do. Well, like, I, I think people, everyone's going to get it no matter what at this point. Yeah, the question, it's about slowing it down. We don't have to get in the whole medical yeah. thing. But the point is, if, if, if 200,000 people get it in the same week, a bunch of people are going to die. If we get it over a period of a year, then we can take care of it. That's really what it's By the about. way, I love that Howard. Erica's been in Florida for a couple of weeks, and already she's doing Republican talking points. Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> talking points. I'm just saying. Eddie, we need it for the economy. Look, Grandma's going to die. It's just going to happen. Grandma's going to die. Look, I, mean, I just got... want to get on stage again, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is all Look, been caused Bauer... by 5G. This is all 5G. My niece told me this is all 5G. Yeah. <laughs> we can all have our opinions, but as far as the panel on the show, Bowers is the only medical doctor here. He's, of course, only licensed to perform on hot dogs, but his opinion <laughs> carries a lot of weight. Yeah, those that's actually not even headphones. That is a stethoscope. It's just an iPhone <laughs> stethoscope. <laughs> By the way, I'm just saying what other doctors have said. That's I, What I keep thinking is funny is is that... What other doctors? I well, think I'm you, saying, I'm I'm you believe now you are a doctor. <laughs> 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 my fellow doctor cohorts in the I, break room. I have a PhD in entertainment science from Ball State University. I'm just not a doctor wow. doctor, but I have a PhD. Wait, are you really? Hold on a second. No. Wait, I've known you for a decade. Are you really a PhD? No, of course not. <laughs> Jesus not. Christ. The idea, the only, the only degree I thought you would have had is a Bachelor of Science, and that's only because it spells BS. That's the only thing I would have believed. Wait, what's entertainment science? It's not yeah, a thing. That? I, made all, I made all of it up. I was just oh, made what? it up. <laughs> And, and this is why Erica <laughs> believes that everybody's going to get it eventually. She just she just believes whatever she fucking hears from anybody. In a Enter, entertainment science are the two things the left <laughs> believes in. Uh, so yeah. with that oh, said, man. let's catch up on some uh, super chats and Venmos, and then uh, and then we'll introduce our first comic. Let's do it. Awesome. So we have let's see what we got going on. Uh, I just want to give a birthday shout out to Eastern Dragon and Shelly today on YouTube. Um, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We had. Amy Ackerson on Facebook started us off with 200 stars, so like two bucks donation. Thank you. Thanks. Chris Thank you. Sparks, ten dollars. Did Steve smoke the rest of the weed he had left? Oh, Ooh. absolutely not. Are you fucking kidding me? No, it's not even in my house. I'm not throwing it away because I know it's valuable, and at some point I'll sell it. 
But the uh, no, I'll probably just give it to somebody. <laughs> um, you still haven't brought it inside. It's well, no, it's just on my patio. My patio's got an overhang. It's fine. What's the reason you're not bringing it back inside? Because it makes my place smell like pot, and I don't want that. I mean, it's a pretty Steve, simple it's reason. In, it's in a seal. It's, a, it's in a glass <laughs> smell-proof container. You you're have been around like pot so long, you have no idea what it fucking smells like anymore. You, like people who are potheads. I've been on the road with people who are potheads so much. And when I'm on the road with them all the time, I'm just like, hey, can you do something about the smell? And they're like, oh, no, there's no smell. And I'm like, are you, what? Are, is your... Did you accidentally light your nose on fire? Like you don't know. Steve, you have PTSD, dude. Did it? Did the bag smell when it got delivered to your house? That's yes, what it, it did. Like now, it yes, it did. Not. It absolutely <laughs> did. No, by, by the way, it, it is pretty pungent, Ben. The one he brought me, I had to put in a cabinet in a plastic bag in my. It, it, it smells pretty intense. I, I victory. I that. Wow. Also, I, by the I, way, that. it's not like I scrub the fucking bong. The bong smells like it. Wait, guys, is my sense of smell gone again? It might be. You got Corona 2, Return of the Corona. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, you have Corona Extra. Yeah, Erica, I think. <laughs> Erica, I believe I probably did have it, yeah. I, was yeah, sick I think for... I had it too, maybe. Oh, my God. Yeah, what were your symptoms? I was just really achy and I kept like feeling a little bit like feverish and exhausted and no appetite. Yeah, I and had all of that. At one point, I had to clear my throat a lot. Like I didn't have a cough, but I kept having to go hum hum. That's the way. <laughs> that's the way Bowers talks on this show. He just has to get in there with the sounds. <laughs> are, you are you ready for a comic? <laughs> yes. How about a comic? Do a comic now? <laughs> oh, we're not comics. <laughs> we're not so comics. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have a comic do a performance, a comedy performance, Eric. That's how this show works. So, oh. uh, yeah. So now we have a comic. Uh, yeah. So the first comic coming to the stage right now, uh, super hilarious. You've seen him on Conan. Give her Alex Edelman, everybody. Alex Edelman. Oh. By the way, I didn't realize that. Erica was going to have all of her credits ever. You read everything that Erica had ever been on. I'm the special guest today. She's the special yeah, guest, bro. Just like, Erica. Like, uh, she's been on This American Life. Between 1979 and 1983, she was the Attorney General of the United States. And here's Alex. <laughs> Way. I'm going to reintroduce Alex right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him not only on Conan, but this man did the Pemberton Music Festival with me in some fucking mountains, and he tied my shoe with one time, which was really nice. Alex Edelman, everybody! Yes, Yay! that's right. We'll get, into okay. we'll get into that in the super chat. But um, uh, but look, by the way, Chris, when you were uh, when you were reading, you when you were like, I'm an entertainment science doctor from Ball State University. For a genuine second, I was like, Oh, that's what Doctor Phil must be, because that's the only. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't we have a different? Shouldn't we have a different word for doctors that aren't doctors? If someone's ever like, I'm Doctor Mike, and you're like, Oh wow, what kind of medicine do you practice? It's like, Oh no, I got a doctorate in literature. It should be a different kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a, I wrote a 600 page paper on Shakespeare's sonnets, and you're like, Well, that's not the same as a dude who can save your life with a ballpoint pen. It's a different type of deal. But, <laughs> being, by the way, sorry about my mom's elliptical in the background. This room has the best Wi-Fi, so that is what I'm using. <laughs> I've been writing. I've been trying so hard to write jokes in this particular moment in time, and let me tell you, it is every day. I sit down at eight o'clock in the morning, uh, right before I go to bed, and uh, I sit down at eight o'clock to try. So my sleep schedule is fucking freshman at Arizona State University. <laughs> Control. I don't know what's happened. There was no moment where I stayed up all night and it fucked up my schedule. I have been like this since I can remember. But I sit down to, I to write a joke the other day. And I swear to God, I looked up after 20 minutes and I had written a poem. Which is the opposite. <laughs> it was an opposite of a joke. It's a poem. <laughs> Favorite. Um, I have. I have. Here's. Here's the thing that I have worked on, and I'm telling. I'm just going to tell you it because I need to tell it to someone who's not my childhood stuffed animal. Um, it, it's, <laughs> I, 
will show you my childhood stuffed animal at the end of this. It is I'm in my childhood home in Boston because it's the only place that hello oh there we go I'm in my childhood home in Boston because I was on tour in the UK and I'll save that for the chat. Here's the gym. Um, uh, my favorite my favorite things about a sports team. Um, is when they have a name that if you actually thought about it would be insensitive given that the thing that the sports team is named after has actually killed people in the area. For instance, like the Florida Gators or the Colorado Avalanche or that's it. It's a bad premise. That's literally the only two examples. Only two examples. When I started the joke, I was like, this is perfect. This is great. This is evergreen stand up. And after 15 minutes of Googling, I was like, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> there are a couple of teams that if they moved they could maybe be hard like if the brooklyn cyclones minor league baseball team moved to kansas they might do some damage <laughs> if the minnesota vikings moved to england in the 13th century it might be a bit <laughs> mom i'm, I'm, no- I, I'm- I'm okay. So my mom has been FaceTime using the opportunity to FaceTime with all of her high school friends. And it is so fun to watch her FaceTime with people that she hasn't spoken to in like four decades. And I'm, <laughs> I'm watching some words. She's going to come in. And, and then when soon as she gets on the phone, she talks a river of shit about these people. And it is so funny. She'll be like, I miss you. I love you. I've been thinking about you every day for 30 years. And then she hangs up. She's like, that girl was the biggest bitch in high school. You had absolutely no idea. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> So a couple of days ago, she's on the phone with her friend Tiki Lyons, who lives in Westchester. I probably shouldn't say her real name. It's like she's in the next room. But my, my mom said, Alex, come over here so Tiki can get a look at you. And I come over and Tiki goes, Ugh. You look exactly like your mother. And I'm like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this arm hair is barely acceptable on me, a 30-year-old male. I'm not the 63-year-old lady. <laughs> I hope not. I hope you don't even mean in high school, because, man. <laughs> All right, I've run over, but I'm going to tell you guys one more one thing. My dad is a real smart guy. My dad teaches at Harvard Medical. <laughs> He's not an ass, and I'm not as, Hold on. Guys, stop. I need to do this joke. <laughs> this is, <laughs> how many comedy sets before the pandemic were in the, was the comic standing there like with a hand over the background like, guys, I have to be quiet with this next joke. It's about my mom. And she's at the bar over there. So <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> That's a real smart guy. A real smart guy. My dad teaches at Harvard Medical School and MIT. And he's been put in charge of the distribution of personal protective equipment for all of uh, MIT and Harvard. Like he's, he's like organized the distribution of like two and a half million pieces of PBE. He's been featured on NBC news. He designs artificial hearts and he's a physician at Brigham Women's hospital. And because of the artificial heart design in 2010, he almost won the Nobel prize for medicine. And if you talk to my mom over the course of this pandemic, you'd think that she's married to the dumbest piece of shit. Who's ever <laughs> left. <laughs> Walk out of a conversation with Cheryl Edelman and you'd be like, I don't know much about that lady, but her husband is fucking illiterate. Like, <laughs> Dad, a couple of days ago, he was like, hey, Allie, do you want to see an artificial heart? And I was like, yes, because that's not a question you say no to. And, I was, and he pulls it out and I'm looking at it and I'm like, Dad, this is so cool. And my mom without even looking up from her in touch <laughs> magazine just went took him log it off he's been working on that shit for 30 years and i was like <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl <laughs> sent me and my brother and she's like he's an idiot and we all know it and i was like 
Mom, it's an artificial heart. And then without looking up from the magazine, she just went, I grew your heart inside me in nine fucking months. And I was like, (laughs) (laughs) my dad could be Jesus turning water into wine. And my mom would be like, yeah, but it's a rosé, isn't it? It's just a fucking (laughs) rosé. Hello, this moron. <laughs> I'll, I'll end, but I just want to say that I think it's every wife thinks their husband is the dumbest piece of trash in the world. <laughs> and my dad once said to me when my mom was ragging on him, like, this is about a week and a half ago. She was like, Do you think Einstein put up with this? And I'm like, Yeah. I'm like, obviously Einstein put up, like, Einstein sitting at a table. He's talking to dinner guests about the theory of relativity. And his wife just waits for one pause. And then she just goes, you know, his hair is always like that. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, he just never shuts up. And, and he's like, thank you. Okay, as I was saying, he goes MC squared. And he's like, oh, he's huge into equals MC squared. But he doesn't know that shampoo plus comb equals presentable. He's never got that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Okay, that's me. That's me. I've, I've, I've run over. I've run over. Thanks so much. Edelman, everybody. Alex Edelman. Alex Edelman. Oh, and a couple of things. First of all, tip jar is open as always. Uh, you can throw a Venmo in uh, top right of the screen or PayPal, laugh from home, or you can super chat. Um, I have known Alex for a very, very long time. Uh, since what? You were like 16 years old when I met yeah, you in yeah, Boston? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I met Alex in Boston. Uh, one of the things that we bonded over is that we were both big sports fans. And with that, I would just like to say Iowa State Cyclones, um, Miami Hurricanes, uh, Miami Heat, and the worst killer of all, the New England Patriots. Uh, so, <laughs> But Steve, Steve, wait, wait, Steve, you missed the New York Jets. Oh, the, well, that was... Oh, I fuck. I thought about that. <laughs> From New York. Damn. Did Damn. it in New York, but yes. <laughs> Do you want to know what I think might be cool? Steve, I was going through my room and yeah. I found some, I, I know this is a weird uh, way to go, but I found some cool baseball stuff that I had forgotten about. This is a bottle of champagne from when I worked at the Red Sox and we won the World Series. So I have that here. Very cool. And um, I found, I was going through this box of shit and literally it was stuff that my mom was like, do you want to keep this or throw it away? And in this box of stuff, is a signed photo of Michael Jordan. And I was like... (laughs) (laughs) And she was like, well, you didn't frame it or I just like wanted to keep it still. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep the autograph photo of Michael Jordan. I think that's something I really enjoy. (laughs) (laughs) And I swear to God, she went, he was no Larry Bird. And I was like... (laughs) (laughs) What? Bostonian from the 1980s. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> up in this right, room Rachel. Has, not, has not held up well. Um, to wit, my bed was directly beneath this painting of noted racist now Kurt Schilling. Yes. <laughs> <painted>. yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you in Boston, Alex? Yeah, yeah. I'm home. Uh, I'm home with my family. Uh, I was in England. And, oh, uh, we're we're losing him in the good Wi-Fi room. We're losing oh, you. Sorry, sorry. I'm going back upstairs <laughs> yeah. to the good Go Wi-Fi. Back to the elliptical machine. <laughs> yeah. Um, elliptical, Alex. The way uh, also, Bo- was- Boston is the only place that would have a painting of Kurt Schilling, both because he won for the Red Sox mm-hmm. and also because he is racist. So I think those two things. <laughs> Guys, can you hear me again? Yeah, Are you yeah. on the elliptical now? I'm on the elliptical yeah, now. Elliptical. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, no, barefoot. Let's see. My, how do you Alex. increase the incline? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> how do you increase the incline is probably what your mom would have said to Sir Edmund Hillary after he scaled Everest. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote the elliptical runs the internet, question mark. Very good <laughs> Wow, well done. I have a favor to ask, buddy. I, um, I was. Is there any chance that you would consider reading us the poem that you wrote instead yes! of writing a joke? Yes. Please. I, Please. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yes. Yay. <laughs> I'm 
I'm Eric is excited. This. I'm excited. Yeah, I want to hear it. Well, while he finds that, Rachel, we got any tips coming in? Let's let's look at some tips. And yeah, some, we got to catch up with the uh, with the chat and everything. While he's finding we his do. Car. Um, he's gonna need those tips because he's definitely getting kicked out of his mother's house. By the way, after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have oh, thanks a Florida. lot. Thanks a lot, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Hudson in Florida tipped Alex five dollars. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's no, it. that's nice one guy. thing. Let Rachel talk. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, e-hole tip two dollars for Alex buy condoms. Uh, we have Chris Sparks tip ten dollars for Alex. I'll take whatever sports talk I can get. We've got nice. Jessica Kibble twenty five dollars. Alex, it's so wrong. It's so inappropriate. I love it so much. It makes me suspect my own children. However. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, Chris Sparks, another 10 for Alex. That overtime bit was effing fire. Um, nice. We've got Dave Adler had tipped um, $5 uh, for a wow. frame to save Alex from his mother's cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks, guys. And I've got some generals here. Um, yeah, let's do some generals, too. We have Daniel Graves, Venmo, $10. Question for the hosting comedians. Do you ever use Airbnb when touring? Oh, I did for a while. And then we started playing a game of like, we were thinking we should do a reality show where we should just go to, you know, not look for a bad Airbnb, just be like, see what is wrong with this Airbnb? Like, what is it that, why Why is this closet locked? Like, what is in here? Or, or hey, is the host going to come back in the middle of the night and not tell us? Like that one. Or uh, my favorite one, I don't know if I've talked about this on the show before, but the guy who, who, like, got divorced, like, two days before I was supposed to stay in his empty place, and so he was staying in his empty place because he got oh. the divorce. And oh, here's no. how I know, because it was the first sentence he said. Well, you know, my wife left me. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Steve. Like what? Like that was. Yeah. So there, there's been a lot of that. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm still willing to stay in Airbnb, and I still do it occasionally. But it is, I'm a. I, Steve. None of you guys. Are you? No, you you broke up. Yeah, there, Steve. You, you 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 you. We didn't hear you. Oh. Steve just got fancy new Wi-Fi at his oh, house, and it's the right, first I... time he's broken up, which is thoroughly perplexing. He was bragging to me an hour ago on text. Dude, I've got 400 upload now, 30 download, and you sound like Wait, shit. Wait, it's my fault. Hold on, I wasn't using I wasn't using the uh, the elliptical. Hold on, I have to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you sound this perfect, Steve. This by the way. <laughs> it really looks like an elliptical. That looks really good. Wait, do, do I go down the stairs? It really does. Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, I've never, I don't know if I've ever been on a real elliptical. I was just trying to do what Alex was doing. Hey, so what you have to do is, is set it to, wow, my heart rate is 219. That is a glitch in the elliptical. No, that, that is, hours. that is. Healthy or no? yeah. it's, it's perfect. That's perfect. You, 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 most of the time, a regular person's heart beats like 310 a minute. So you're fine. You're fine. By the way, the uh, your name is now Dr. Hot Dog Bowers. That's your full. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hot Dog Bowers, PhD. <laughs> I've always Jonah. wondered if a, if, a, if a doctor became a DJ, you think he'd call himself DJ Doctor or Doctor DJ? I don't know which one's more. Uh, more you've they always get? wondered that. This yeah, you've you clearly never before. gotten a degree. That is not a question. <laughs> <laughs> you no, you put DJ. Doctor, <laughs> you put DJ Dr. first. Doctor Bowers walking into a yeah. patient's room. They've got a very serious prognosis. He goes. I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is you have cancer. The good news is I finally figured it out. I think he'd call himself DJ Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I shoot off cannons and shit. Got cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Erica, do you ever in stay Alex. in Airbnbs when you go on the road other than when you escape to self-quarantine isolation? I know. I was going to say I've been in an Airbnb for a month. And there have been a lot of ups and downs. There was a huge cockroach at one point and I got really scared and I threw a pillow on it and then it was under the pillow. And then I called the owners and they, they got it out from under the pillow. And so it was a whole situation. Given, 
Given that it's Florida, though, I wouldn't be surprised if in your rating they were like, Erica was a lovely guest, but she killed our cockroach. You know, (laughs) (laughs) our pet cockroach. (laughs) The way she killed our pet bad because that cockroach was running for mayor, and so. Oh, Change the entire political system. And by the way, in the comments, our resident doctor, uh, Zara, from the comments, says it's actually Dr. DJ. I know the nomenclature. When we have judges who are PhD, we call them Dr. Judge or Dr. Justice. So it's so it's Dr. First, whatever they are. Gotcha. Yeah, right. I, yeah, I, I know that you go with Dr. DJ because you want to go with the thing that is um, easiest to become first. So you start with doctor. <laughs> and then, you, you know... Then you want to impress as you go up, you know? You want to just be like, yeah, doctor is the like, opener. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sir doctor? Paul McCartney, you know? You know like, What's that, Erica? Is Chris an actual doctor? Or are we all messing with <laughs> It's a fucking bitch. It's a doctor. You're not a doctor. <laughs> Erica. Did, you, did you see the pocket square that I thought was a pocket square? This is the fucking line of my throat. What part do you think I'm No, Erica. Chris actually got his doctorate. We're kidding with you. He got his doctorate just after using my elliptical machine. It was, uh... I'm gullible. I'm very gullible. Erica, I have to question your cockroach removal strategy. You were self quarantined with possible COVID, and you first threw a reusable thing you want on your head to get rid of the cockroach and pillow and then called in the landlords to break the quarantine seal you didn't know what they were bringing in there this is a terrible plan these are all good points these are all good points it's like you gotta pick your poison ben you know poison can i just point out that bowers name on the on the zoom right now is dr hot dog bowers Pick, pick your poison. Pick your poison has been the theme of Trump healthcare briefings all week, basically. It's yeah. like whatever poison you want to use to kill the virus, yes. we yes. should use. Trust me. Your poison. Dr. DJ. <laughs> literally encouraged people to inject bleach. Who knew the morons that were eating Tide Pods months ago were actually just building up immunity for coronavirus? <laughs> His initials really are DJ. Do you want? Do you, oh, I have to. I have to tell you guys. Donald J. Trump. You. Holy shit! He's DJ Trump. I have to tell you this. I have to tell you this. I need to. I need to. I need to get this out. There's a person in my home, not my mom, but there's a person who I'm quarantining with. Someone in my family who is a who who is a Trump supporter and thinks that we're always going too hard on Trump. And I swear to God. We're watching the news and like we've been fighting since I got here about Trump. And he's like, you're too hard on Trump. And so and so we're watching the we're watching the briefing as it happens live. And this person turned to me. And as Trump said, you can inject it. He looked at me. He was like, yeah, th- this one's hard. This one's hard. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Two strange, good sir. (laughs) My liberal friend. We got to catch up with some super chats. We got to catch up. Rachel, Rachel, what do we got? Yeah, so we've got more tips for Alex. Kim Wu tipped five dollars. Awesome set, Alex. Thanks. We've got uh, Razor five dollars for Alex's dad for a dunce hat and a huge foam middle finger to wear around the house and keep extended eye contact with the wife. <laughs> it's amazing. We have uh, Elizabeth Ann tipped $5. Alex, I don't know who I want to meet more, Alex's mom or dad. He's no Larry Bird. <laughs> okay. uh, Frank Nataro tipped $10. Great job, Alex. You killed it. I haven't seen the host laugh that hard since Queen Rachel botched the pronunciation from the guy from Harry Potter. <laughs> right. I would like to say that is uh, that is not true. I laughed. I laughed very hard at the penis game as well. I'm yep. a very immature person. And I also would like to correct the record. Rachel, it's pronounced Frank Nicotero. He was the host of Street Smart for many years. <laughs> we got to get him on nope, the show, by the nope, way. Different guy. Still different guy. I can get him. Let's do it. 
done. If uh, we do, can uh, we just call? Can we just introduce him as Frank Notaro the whole time? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, Ellen Shaw tipped five dollars for Alex for good comedy plus Boston Pride. Go socks eventually. <laughs> can I just can I just intercept the compliment? I that was one of the best sets I've seen on any Zoom show in a while. Mm. It was so funny. It was funny, really Sarah, good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. By yeah, the way, I like wow. the idea that she qualified it. She's like, this is one of the best sets I've seen, and then on a Zoom show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While I was in Florida looking at a cockroach, so I'm terrified. But yes, I don't know. It's the best set I've seen. What, yeah. legit, legit, Alex? That was a killer set and one of the best we've ever had on the show. So that was yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I'm so psyched. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Um, All right, we Alex, still have 15 super chats to get through. Can we let Rachel do her job, please? Yes. 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 Read the poem, but yes, Rachel, please. We've got Savannah Martin uh, tipped Alex $16.79 for Alex. Nice. Uh, wow. Jan Johnson tipped $2.50. Alex, one of the funniest sets yet. Wish I could give more. We have uh, Generals, Night Wheel, $5. Uh, this is one of the restaurants in England, and it's true. Uh, I love Preta Manger in England. I love their sandwiches. There's only a few here in the U.S. Pret? I do, too. Oh, what a great Australia, French you, yeah. place. Sorry. <laughs> a manger. It's pret a manger, not pret a manger. And now I'm curious about the Harry Potter mispronunciation. <laughs> she called to she called her my, miss, she called she called Hermione her moan when she read it. She goes, her moan. <laughs> Erica just laughed so hard that? I think the window broke. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Manger, <laughs> but that literally is a French name for a place. Go ahead. E hole, uh, five dollars. Remember the weenie. We have Mary Rogers sent uh, 200 stars on Facebook. We've got Edward Marlowe, ten dollars. During a breakup, I accidentally left a bag of crab corpses in my ex's truck. Love and support, y'all. Holy shit. It's I confession course. time. If you guys want to confess something for $10 or more, that would be Jesus great. Jesus Christ. If you, and look, I will be the first to say, I have always been misplacing my crab corpses. Because sometimes you forget if you leave the house with them, you know? And so it's hard to remember. And like, I try to check my pockets, you know? I'm like, oh, my phone's in this pocket. My keys are in that pocket. My wallet's in the other pocket. But I forget to hit my back pocket, which is where I usually keep the crab corpses. So it's Were difficult you... to remember. The big question is, did you call her to get the crab corpses back? Or did you just <laughs> let her keep the crab corpses? <laughs> <laughs> or did you call her and tell you tell her that you left a bunch of live crabs there? And shut up. It was like, what'd you do to my crabs? <laughs> all alive when I left. I gave a cra girl crabs once. Anyway, uh, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> Um, we've got Tilly White, $2. Uh, stuff my mom smokes, I swear, smells like dog shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, for the weed. weed. No, that, that weed. was in, in reference to the weed being smelly. Mm. Uh, um, Kitsy Daps, $5. Alex and Steve, what baseball team do you hate the most, and why is it the Astros? Go Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Go Dodgers. Woo. Yeah, by the way, the Red Sox really sidestepped uh, something that the Astros cheated worse than they did, so nobody's mad at the Red Sox. <laughs> yes, <laughs> did you so see that the cheating scandal for the Red Sox got pinned on the video replay guy? Because clearly that's the most powerful person in the <laughs> yeah. Red Sox organization, <laughs> right. the guy who runs video replay. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually it's actually uh, you know very very similar to you know when when World War Two started. It's because one guy was like, Man, I don't like those Germans. That's how it <laughs> happened, right? It's very similar. That's my well, grandfather. Kind of actually, was. Who said that, that kind of was. That kind of was real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His name was Franz Dukeborn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we are we caught up, Rachel? How many more we got left? We've got a couple more. We can do with that. All right, let's do a comic. Are we ready for another, yes. another comic? Oh, well, first, first, before we do that, Alex, uh, any, any, how do we find you on social media? And wait, 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 wait. Do before... you? I'm getting to it, Ben. I'm getting to it. And do you have the poem ready? I want to hear your, I your social media poem. and the poem. That's. I do we'll have a poem. We'll Sorry, my phone was dying. You can find me on uh, on Twitter and uh, and Instagram uh, at uh, my. And sorry, let me plug in my uh, my Instagram handle is at the Alex. And my 
Twitter name? handle. Sorry. Can, can you guys hear me? You. Yeah, now we get back on the Sorry. elliptical. We can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> my Instagram <laughs> is at the Alex Edelman. My Twitter is um, was at the Alex Edelman. And tomorrow I've joined Patreon and I'm putting up 40 uh, two minutes of stand-up comedy on Patreon tomorrow. So if you join my Patreon, it's just Patreon and my name, Alex Edelman, Patreon backslash Alex Edelman. But everyone's been really nice. Thank you so much for your nice, uh, funny comments. You guys are way funnier than the people I've been quarantined with. So I kind of just want to <laughs> stay in the chat and decide that people. Can I write the Instagram name here? My Instagram name is... Yeah, okay, we got it. We got it. We got it on screen we, for you. We got We're, it. Poem. We, we, we got you covered. Poem. Okay, poem, fine. Poem. Poem. All right. Poem. This, poem, <laughs> this poem is called... Oh, no. The connection's breaking. Okay. This poem is called uh, Duluth. This poem is called Duluth, Minnesota. Oh, I already <laughs> like it. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, man. The best thing to do here is visit Dylan's house. Although Dylan got as far away as possible, fibbed through his teeth about ever being here. Good to be here in winter when cold is what it really is. So good to go in February. So go in February, not in April. If you're going to go to the cold place, then why half-ass it? Oh, man. And don't fly in. Frown your way across the state in a minivan from Fargo. Hunt down Paul Bunyan statues you mostly imagined anyhow. Towns with 50 hostages. The best thing to do... Oh. Oh, I like wow. The, the, the deep even silence the, really makes even, you think. Even the internet doesn't like poems. Yeah. <laughs> by the way i think alex wrote that poem when he when i i like i i think he did the same gig i did in duluth like i think that was i loved how the poem went dark at the end it just got really <laughs> and then he really left that. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> that was great Rather than finishing the poem, he was like, fuck this. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. There he is. <laughs> Alex is back. Audio's <laughs> muted. Audio's <laughs> muted, Alex. You're back. There he is. Now muted. he's back. <laughs> the phone died at the perfect time and the worst time. Sorry, the last. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. We're like <laughs> I'm so sorry. And, all right, fine. This is, the last, this is the last line of it. The best thing to do here is Dylan's house. Then the logging camp then the railway cave, all kinds of mausoleums. And the second best thing to do is to walk out onto Lake Superior, get a crate, write some letters, and wait for the ice to crack in milder seasons. It's <laughs> <laughs> about a suicide by icy lake. I like that. It's like, hey, dude, you do a comedy club in Duluth, Minnesota on February 11th with Gary Gomez and Ignataro, the epitome of cheer. <laughs> Tignataro was depressing. You need to spend time in a comedy green room with Tignataro. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been in any funks lately? It's very, very. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the worst Airbnb I've ever been, and then I'm going to sit back and watch this for a bit. The worst Airbnb I've ever been in was I did a comedy club somewhere in North Carolina. And it was usually uh, comedy clubs, as everyone in this um, Zoom will know, uh, they have a condo and this had an Airbnb and uh, the comic from the previous weekend who was middling hadn't vacated yet. And there had been a leak and it had soaked the merch that he was keeping in, uh, in one of the closets. And so when I arrived, I opened the door and there were, there were North Carolina middle act merch spread all over <laughs> the living room and drying. I remember picking up a t-shirt that said DILF, Dad I'd like to fuck on it. <laughs> yeah, the weekend we got working on All right. Love it. Thank you, buddy. Alex Edelman, Eric. everybody. One more time. Alex, Alex Edelman. Edelman. All right, we're gonna get to the next comic. We're gonna get to the next comic right now. We're getting to the, no, we're getting right next to the comic, man. We gotta get to the next comic. All right, coming up right now. She's our returning champion. She's our biggest tip getter we've gotten so far. She's one of my very favorite comics. You see, she's on the Alan Alan Cox show in Cleveland every day, and she's also was the vote of the funniest person in Cleveland. Give her the very funny Mary Santora, everybody. Mary Santora. Mary Santora. Hi. What's going on, guys? How are we? Um, real quick, Steve. Thank you for clarifying that you had never been on an elliptical because we definitely couldn't tell. Um, that was great. <laughs> Is the least athletic person I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, <laughs> um, does forgotten? No, Bowers, put your hands on. You're a doctor with hot dogs. Don't even. Do that. <laughs> I feel like 
<laughs> Forgotten Crab Corpses is like the worst heavy metal band ever. Like it's just the shittiest music. <laughs> I, uh, I wore my best flannel for you guys. Do you guys like it? How do I look? Do I look like I'm going to go sing Shania Twain karaoke? Because I am. Um, that's what I do. <laughs> I described, I was described recently by a friend as a hillbilly bougie. And I've never been described better. That's perfect. Literally. <laughs> if, it, if someone didn't immediately pop into your mind, you definitely are not from the Midwest. Like I can tell you that much. Um <laughs> <laughs> Hillbilly bougie is basically like I'll go out and treat myself to a really nice steak dinner, but then I'll ask for a to go box for the bread, like that kind of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm basically if a code red Mountain Dew was a person, that's what we're doing. <laughs> 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 that's my um. <laughs> My uh, my mom, I had a I had a crazy childhood, man. My mom's a hoarder. Like, have you guys seen, seen the show Hoarders? I grew up like in a hoarder house like that. And don't get weird and uncomfortable. Everybody does because there was like pros and cons to living in a hoarder house. You know, like like a con, we only had one path that went through our whole house. You know, <laughs> pro, I'm awesome at corn mazes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very true. My sister and I used to play a game called Find the Floor, uh, which is a very real game we play. <laughs> we, had, we had a junk room. Like some people have a junk drawer in their house. We had an entire room where we would go up and we would kind of like, it's kind of like digging through the $5 movie bin at Walmart, you know? And like you're trying to get to that one prize movie at the bottom, but all these shitty Keanu Reeves movies keep getting in the way. Like, <laughs> find the floor. Like, you just want it too fast, too furious. Like, that's all you're looking for. You know? <laughs> my mom and I, uh, we disagree on a lot of things. She doesn't think that I have my priorities straight, you know, because I travel for comedy all the time and stuff. She'll be like, you know, Mayor, you did 20 shows last month and saw your niece zero times. I'm like, well, you know, mom, you found 15 floor lamps last month and have zero light bulbs. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, Alex was talking about a Trump supporter. That's what most of my family is. Um, my brother's like super religious Bible beater thing like that. Uh, he pulled me aside a couple years ago at Christmas because he thought I was drinking too much. Now, this is the kind of guy who has like a bumper sticker that says the South will rise again. But his plates are from Ohio. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> he pulled me aside at Christmas and he quoted the Bible to me. He was like, Mary, be not drunk with wine wherein there is excess. Instead, be filled with the Lord. Ephesians 5.18. As if two bottles of wine later, I could even hear what he was saying to me. Like, I had no clue what was going on. So what I did is I got more drunk, and then I quoted the Bible back to him, but with verses that I made up. So I was just wasted. I was like, hey, Kyle, Kyle, uh, thou shalt pass the mashed potatoes. <laughs> Deuteronomy 918. <laughs> Hey, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. God looks down when you partake in redneckery. <laughs> <laughs> Caution's A12. <laughs> <laughs> he's also one of those people who's always like, like, if you love Jesus on Facebook, like he's one of those. It's just, it's so much to handle, man. I can't. Because of my family, I don't want to have kids. Like, I see what our parents did to us. Like, I was talking with, I'm telling you, man, I, I, here's my thing. I can barely remember to feed my cat, okay? Like, you, you can't do that with a kid. You will go to jail. Um, do you know what happens if I go too long without feeding my cat? I buy a new cat. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, little kids are fucked up, man. Like, my nephew was hanging out. And I, he asked me, he was just very basic. He just goes, Yeah, man, what's your favorite color? And I was like, Oh, buddy, my favorite color is yellow. And he was like, Yellow can't be your favorite color because sunshine doesn't even have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, <laughs> 
I didn't know that in preschool they were taking acid. Like I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> my uh, my dad was a compulsive gambler. So if I'm not painting the picture of a perfect family for you guys, uh, that's the that's the recipe in this soup. That's how you make a stand up comedian. Um, <laughs> you learn you learn your lessons differently when your dad's a gambler. Like I'll never forget this as long as I live. When I was in second grade, I was taking a math quiz. Uh, one of the questions on the quiz was 11 is a number that is only divisible by one and itself. 11 is an example of a prime number is what they were looking for. Uh, eight-year-old mayor wrote double down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the jokes for me, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate Mary it. Santora. Mary Santora. Mary Santora. By the way, a couple things. One, uh, of course, Tip Jar is open if you want to tip Mary uh, for describing the most accurate version of the chat game, The Floor is Lava, I've ever heard. Uh, you can do so. <laughs> Venmoing at the top right of the screen. Of course, you can PayPal at laughfromhome.com as well as you could Super Chat. Also, the idea that on a show hosted by Chris Bowers and Ben Glebe, I'm the least athletic. How fucking dare you? <laughs> you did a real elliptical. Hold on a second. <laughs> eats, that's like saying Bowers eats the least hot dogs or Ben has the least amount of weird shit on his desk. I'm The only reason I'm on this panel is to look athletic in comparison. That's the only reason I do this show. Listen. Allowing this. Hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> shown it before. But we've got my high school ping pong trophy. We've discussed it. We've also discussed my little league baseball pitching record. Okay, don't give me that shit. Forty years and, ago. And by the way, I am really good at fucking Papa shots. So I don't want to hear it. Ninety six. Oh yeah, I have he's my got own trophy. trophy over here. So yeah. When, Steve, if, I have been to the gym with Ben. And I was certainly not with Bowers. What's and I can attest firsthand. <laughs> yeah, I met a guy named Jim with Bowers. Does that count? <laughs> I like how Bowers, Bowers shows off his Papa Shot championship because it's the only basketball that an alcoholic can thrive at. Like, that's it. <laughs> I am beer, Jim. I'm a groove. <laughs> I went to, I went to able to live way. I went, to, I went to a high altitude place with Ben Wait. Glebe. I went to a high altitude comedy festival with Ben Glebe, and he was out of breath getting out of the van. <laughs> <laughs> ben, the only time you run in the last 10 years is when you ran for president. <laughs> Uh, and even that, he stopped halfway through. <laughs> Water break. Press Secretary Steve Hobsnetter. <laughs> Let me just respond by saying I had had surgery one and a half weeks before that festival, Alex. Secondly, it's also true I don't run hardly ever. Thirdly, because you lift weights at a gym, no one's saying you don't have more muscles. You go to the gym. You transformed yourself into somebody with muscles, but that is not athleticism. I was third string high school quarterback. Oh at my a god! During summer, <laughs> okay? so oh, I act no. like Chris. And, and let's I, see your A, Ben. Let's see your class weeks. ring. Where's your class ring, Ben? Uh, ben, no, I bet you could hold on a second, it. guys. We have to stop. It. We have to stop while Ben throws this football over those mountains. It's really important <laughs> to see. <laughs> I mean, burning question that everybody has for you now. I mean, people must come up to you in the street and go, I mean, what was it like to meet Amy Klobuchar? Like, what? <laughs> it was a dream. It was a dream come true. Actually, um, Ben did. Ben not only met Amy Klobuchar, but he stole a press conference from her. It was one of the funniest fucking things nice. I've ever seen. <laughs> Ambling. You know, like she does where she talks for 10 minutes and says one sentence. And yeah. uh, he just walked in and was like, all right, I'm going to just start talking and just started talking. And she looked around and was like. All right, and then she left. <laughs> yeah, really stole her press conference. So cool, it was pretty fun. <laughs> really cool yeah, Anyone that's what happens when a comic can run for president. It's great. It was pretty fun, and and it worked. It worked. I got again point one percent of the vote in New Hampshire, the one state I made it onto the ballot on. So you're welcome, America. 
But that is <laughs> that is, if I recall, New Hampshire is the state with with the most population, right? Don't they have the the highest? Population? Steve, you're breaking up. It must be the elliptical or the new Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Michael, hard to understand I, I, I what you're saying. saying. Eric, Eric, <laughs> Alex, Eric lives, since Eric lives in Florida now, have you registered in a in Florida? <laughs> state? We need we need your vote. Can you register while you're down there in your Airbnb? She's muted right now, but you're muted, Erica. There we go. Also, there we go. She's good. Now you're good. No wonder no one heard the last jokes I was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was trying to compliment Steve's elliptical machine. I was like, that was the best elliptical work I've seen without an elliptical machine ever. <laughs> the way, Get first the of all, I don't knees. know. I don't know how much competition I have in that category, but I do appreciate it, Erica. Yeah. And clear, it's so clear that Ben muted you when you started saying that now. Now yeah. I know what happened. <laughs> so have also, you registered I, to vote in Florida? Have you registered to vote in Florida, Erica? I have not registered to vote here yet, no. Well, do us so a favor and do right that. In with the other, I'm just, the other just trying to figure out <laughs> what you say. I said, so you fit, fit right in with other Floridians. <laughs> yeah, I've just been spending a lot of time at the beach, so I, you know, I haven't had time. <laughs> yeah, Erica's really busy licking mailboxes, you know. Yeah, I just don't have time to get into politics because I'm trying to get my tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been tempted to eat people's face off at all yet or wander into swamps? Has Florida affected your mental state yet is the question. Um, not yet that I know of, but I don't know. My mental state probably wasn't that great to begin with. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, have just to, did a I have to hold on. 90? God, so 90 <laughs> hold on. Yeah. I'm running low. I'm running low uh, on battery. She was like, my mental state wasn't that great to begin with, so I decided to go to a physical state that's also not that great to begin with. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> if you're if you're running low on battery, you can try what Bowers does, just eat another hot dog. Yes. <laughs> I also, whenever the time comes, I have three contest entries if I'm allowed to play. I don't want oh, to Oh, yeah, do absolutely. Oh, okay. I have love three it. of them. Yeah, yeah, we all we all will play. Actually, the contest okay. we should do the contest because we have thirty five entries to the contest, which right, is well, insane. Well, well, Rachel, was there any tips for Mary and general stuff? Yeah, of course. The contest in a second. Let's hear from Rachel. Absolutely. So we've got um, Dave Adler tipped five dollars for Mary's bread doggy bag bulbs for her mom. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> we've got E Hole tip uh, five dollars. Oh my God, Mary, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth Ann, five dollars for Mary uh, for dog food or for cat food. Nice, <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> Jessica tipped twenty five dollars. Mary, anything I could say would be utterly in inadequate. Aww, nice. That's so sweet. Thank you. Savannah tipped uh, Mary sixteen dollars and eighty three cents. We've got <laughs> Tyler Stevens tipped Mary two dollars. Um, Kenneth Blankenship tipped Mary ten dollars. Mary, I've got relatives like yours. I'll have to catch your next show next. I'll have to catch your show next time you're in Nashville. Oh, yeah. well, but, I'm also headlining Nowhere Comedy Club on Monday. So if you guys are on Nowhere Comedy Club Monday, I'm doing a full 45 minutes. So yeah, perfect. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's perfect because the next comment is a tip from eleven Ellen, Ellen Shaw for eleven dollars and said double down on Mary. Fantastic set again. Also, we need tonight's comics at Nowhere Comedy Club ASAP. Boom. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Well, we, we already got you couple... covered with Mary. We'll talk to Alex. He's a little bit busy with his elliptical routine, but if we can get him at the club, <laughs> we would appreciate it. <laughs> we might have to pay him and sign Michael Jordan photos, um, but we'll... Uh... <laughs> uh, we have um, two other tips uh, that had come in for Alex. So Stacy Baldwin, $5. I just want to be best friends with Alex. That probably costs more than $5. No. Got no, no, it, it, I've known, I've known him for a very long time. It's that's about the going rate. I pay Steve to know Steve. <laughs> uh, and then we had uh, Tyler Stevens, two dollars for Alex. Matthew Plummer, five dollars. Um, and then we had a few generals. We've got, let's see, David Ingbar said scare B and B. Not wrong. We've got Carrie. Although, uh, although uh, Erica's is is uh, Air CDC, 
But sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Carrie, um, $5 for, for Dr. Hot Dog Bowers. How many penises have you seen at your successful urology practice? <laughs> <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, E Hole uh, tipped uh, two dollars and said, "Oh hell yeah!" to Carrie's question. We had Jessica um, twenty five dollars for Erica's for uh, for her plane ticket fund. <laughs> <laughs> We've oh, got... I need that. Thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've got Dave Adler, a dollar. This doctor chat reminds me of my favorite Hopsetter heckler clip, the doctor of law one. Uh, oh, because thank Binghamton you. was not the worst place mentioned. Thank um, you. <laughs> Facebook, we've got Seth Shotwell, Simon Harris, Tronya Daniels, all donated. Um, we've got Dave Adler sent another $2.18. Uh, he miswrote a lot of stuff in Venmo. And so he said, I'm just pretty crappy at writing today. Apologies to Queen Rachel. Um, Steve Gorak, $2. Cox is a yinzer even if he moved. <laughs> That's for radio show. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Hudson in Florida, $5. My screen name is not paying off well today. <laughs> <laughs> And then I think I'm caught up, so we could do the All right, contract. let's do the game. Uh, so uh, the way this works, reminder, if anybody wants to get them in last minute, um, of course, you can enter. Uh, you can just put yours for free, and, you know, we read some of the best ones of those. But if you want to enter the game and potentially win all of the prizes, uh, you got to enter with at least five bucks, um, and that's the way this works. The game, of course, is Runa Restaurant with one word. So let's see what we got. You can add a uh, word way, or you can change a word. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah, delete, add, change, whatever it is. Uh, Mary, do you want to throw a couple of yours in first? Sure, yeah. Um, I did PF Bangs. Nice. <laughs> Wait, that is Bowers' favorite strip club. It's a strip club with food. Are you kidding me? It's a strip club plus Chinese buffet. That's what it is. Uh, yes. yeah, I, I, I thought uh, it was a, hair, a haircut place for women going through a tough time. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> um, while we're on the PF... P.F. Chang's, I do have one for that chain. Mine is P.F. Chang's Wuhan China Bistro. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> not going to go as well. <laughs> um, I also had I had Buffalo Child Wings. <laughs> <laughs> I just had one more. <laughs> uh, the last one was um, Jack in Her Box. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that first one and that last one were definitely Bowers themed restaurants. So that's fantastic. <laughs> Wait, prostitution and fast food? That's fantastic. Dude, uh, Rachel, it. did it, did anyone say uh Preda Manager there, possibly? <laughs> <laughs> that's Karen's favorite restaurant. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if anybody in the live audience wanted to go. Um, yes. Do we have any entries from our live audience? Uh, Dirk. Do we want to go to Dirk? And Chris Jacobs, too? Uh, yeah. You guys, can you turn on your video? Yeah, sorry. I turned on my video. So mine was a Kentucky Place chicken. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 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 where if you, you if that's you, great if you last the long if you last the longest you get the meal that's how it works <laughs> Chris Jacobs, uh, and if you go? don't you are the meal <laughs> yeah, I I thought of a uh, Dairy Queen oh god <laughs> <laughs> That's my least Real favorite quick. restaurant. <laughs> as someone, as someone who is lactose intolerant, um, that's a little too close to home. Just so. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, we're so professional, right, Erica? <laughs> <laughs> Flannel. I told the you this is my Sunday best. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right. Here's a, here's a couple of the non-paid entries. We've got Shelly, Crackhead Barrel. 
<laughs> nice. Which, by the way, wouldn't really change it much. Just a heads up. <laughs> We've got Amensala, Bride of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, I love this one. Andy Leslie, Dama Nope. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, okay, and now we've got the paid entries. All right, okay, let's do so it. Okay, so everybody uh, take note comics, of the ones that you like. Comics, we will be voting on them. Yeah, comics, you're going to vote. Comics, you have a vote, so That's be thinking right. about which ones you like the best. So here we go. And okay, Eric, okay, of course, just... special guest comic as well. Yes. I get to vote? Yep. Hell yes. Okay. I don't know yes. this one. Randy Longmire. Yeah, so just, just pay attention and, and listen for your favorite. Steve, your audio is shit today. Um, <laughs> hey, Randy Longmire. Message. Um, yeah, it says my... Okay. <laughs> Forgo de Chow. I'm not... What is it? Forgo de Chow. Oh, Forgo de Chow? I mean, it's Fogo de Chow nice. is the name of the restaurant. What's the what's yeah? The so it's Forgo, Forgo is not... de Chow. Like, oh, get Forgo, get like, don't food. go. Yeah, I got it. All right, got yeah. it. Perfect. Yeah, We've was got, that my um, internet's fault or? <laughs> <laughs> my pronunciation, likely. Um, Kara the Lioness, uh, Penis Express. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> By the way, I have always I like. There's a place called Chicken Express, and I really want to go in and ask if they serve panda. Like I just <laughs> I feel like they should serve panda. We've got Tyler Stevens. McFondle's Play Place. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> We've got a uh, uh, Jeremy Day. Uh, it's KFC Kentucky Fuck Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, We've got Crystal Newen, uh Pandemic Bread. Oh my God! <laughs> that was, I took over Morty's. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Pandemic bread. Tipsy Dap is a dick filet. I thought of that one. I thought of that one. You thought of that one? By the way, literally the thing that would offend the people from Chick fil A the most, that is the thing that they are scared of. Yeah. We've got Harry. They've become the very thing they fear. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Carrie has a uh, cat in the box, aka Schrodinger's. Schrodinger's. Oh my God, Schrodinger's. <laughs> Shit. Cat in the box is really good. Cat in the box is great. Where it's like, where it's just like, is it a chicken sandwich? I don't know. Is it? Is it? We don't know. <laughs> Both a chicken sandwich and not a chicken sandwich at the same time, Steve. That's the part yeah. about Schrodinger's cat in the box. <laughs> But by the way, yeah, yeah. Schrodinger's totally sounds like a name of a bad bar. Like that's like a really like shitty nerdy bar. Sorry, that's go ahead. Soft, softball players go after they get done playing softball. They go to show dingers. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. We've got uh, yesterday's winner, Danny Gallagher, Roppel Burger King. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, what shit. is it? Burger King. The, Burger the, King. The quarterback for the, uh, the, the Steelers. The quarterback for the Steelers. You know, the Roethlis Burger King. Got it. I didn't hear yes. it clearly. Uh, Dave Adler has Ruth's Chris Bauer Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they do not serve any vegetables. Just a heads up. You can't expect a side. There are no sides. You get a steak with a side of steak. That is what yep. you get there. Yep. Oh, I was get your so hot dog medium rare. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping someone would call it would someone would do Ruth's Piss Steakhouse because that's what I thought. Ruth's <laughs> 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 Piss. Uh, Mario Miser, asshole bees. <laughs> <laughs> also, wouldn't change it much. Just <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, Danny it's, Gallagher. It's go oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Danny Gallagher, Chucky Mason, Manson, Chucky Manson. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> How I am. <laughs> Neither one of those words is difficult. Why those are both very easy words. <laughs> Why did you laugh before you said it when you didn't know what it said? That's what's very confusing. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
<laughs> Rachel, right. Rachel is, was, Bowers and will always over. be the be the best part of the show. <laughs> yes, yeah, for a minute, Bowers took you off the hook on pronunciation, but you're right back, Queen. You're back <laughs> at the throne. Long live the Queen. That's right. All hail, Long all hail, the... Queen Rachel, the first of her name, the true Queen of the Andals. <laughs> Long live the Queen Rachel. <laughs> Queen uh, word breaker. Uh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> word breaker. Uh, two people had this one. We've got Dizzy by Nature and Jeremy Day. Both had whites only castle. <laughs> <laughs> that would change that business a great deal, actually. That would be a very different business. Uh, <laughs> we've got Carrie, uh, sweetbreads. Sweet tomatoes. Hello, Clary. I don't even. That that was very good. I don't confusing. know. That might be a Florida restaurant. I don't know. Um, I don't know that. I don't know that restaurant. I don't know Erica, it either. Is it Erica? I Help. have no. I have no idea. I haven't been out of the Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. Bauer still laughed at it because of his preternatural encyclopedic knowledge of all food chains. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very good one. I love sweet bread. <laughs> We've got Razor. This one, I think he's fucking with me. He's trying to get me to say stuff really slow, and I think it's perverted, but I'll let's see. Because <laughs> I saw a lot of people you... comment afterwards and say, don't make her do that. And so I don't, I'm just now looking at it. Well, um, it's just, it's... it's just Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you no, got? No, it says, okay, queen, you got to say this game entry how it sounds. In and out, in and out. Oh, yes, in and out. Slow down. <laughs> that's not <laughs> one word. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not one word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can, uh, you can ruin that by saying it in and in. <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> We've got uh, Danny Gallagher. Uh, Kalana... What is Kalana? Kalana? No, so but it, what is the procedure called? A coloscopy? A colonoscopy? Colonoscopy? Colonoscopy, colonoscopy F. Chang. Colonoscopy <laughs> F. Chang, yes. That was so confusing. Colonoscopy right. F. Chang's. Yeah. The colonoscopy F. Chang's is very well funny. Done. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> We've got Care the Lioness, Carol Baskin Robbins. <laughs> uh, Dave Adler, the restaurant's Jolie B. So Jolie B. B. Ben Glebe. Okay. I don't yeah. like these mashups. These are so hard to pronounce at times. Dave Adler. It's my Again. favorite part. Red Robin Gourmet Burgers and Jews. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely one word. That, that was letter of the law in this game. Nicely done. Uh, Jeremy Day, uh, wall, of, uh, wall on the Border. Okay. Oh, because it's just called On the Border. And so Wall, yeah, wall on the Border. On the border. Is That's a, good. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Solid. Dave Adler, P.F. Chong's Chronic Bistro. <laughs> it's oh, like like Cheech and Chong, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Chronic. Uh, Danny Gallagher, a board of call. <laughs> board of call. Board of call is a restaurant. So a board. Oh, got it. Board. Right, we got to go to our restaurant expert on this. Does that qualify? <laughs> <laughs> And, and they told me this knowledge wouldn't pay off, that my doctorate in fucking fast food science was not going to take me anywhere. <laughs> I realized that I've been training was... for this shit my whole life. That my whole life's been about this, guys, and it's finally paying off. I love that. I love that your love of fast food has made your metabolism so slow. Like, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Bowers does accept that answer, but he gives it just one out of four pocket squares. <laughs> uh, what else we Next got guy i pronounce his name wrong all the time apparently and he just super chatted and five dollars uh i keep saying mario miser but it's apparently miser so mario miser uh dead robin 
<laughs> Your specialty. We've got uh, Brooklyn Hodgkins, and Blue Robin. Waffle yeah. House. <laughs> <laughs> do not Google Blue Waffle. Don't uh, do it. You don't want to see it. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> you know what that is. What? Wait, 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 wait. What is it? This what is, is it? and by the way, can we just point out that Alex's Zoom name is now Dr. DJ Alex Edelman. I don't know when that changed, but I just noticed it. <laughs> um, uh, so this game was designed for Bowers. <laughs> yes. This is Bowers' game. What Absolutely. Is, what, was the, what was the entry? I'm keeping track. I'm keeping Blue track. Waffle. <laughs> Blue Waffle House. But you don't want to Google Blue Waffle. It's a really gross uh, thing. What is, hold on. Oh, no. Don't, don't, <laughs> Alex. It's not a good idea. Off screen sharing. Turn off screen sharing. <laughs> he said, "Don't." Do Alex is fake right now. Oh that my god. Oh my god. Man, you don't want to see that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know who's going to win. You lose. You lose. Oh, goodness me. All right. Uh, what else we got? All right. We've got, oh. we've got a few more. Carrie, Buffalo Bills skinned wings. Oh, shit. <laughs> Push the lotion on we've the got, wings. Uh, Ellen Shaw, on behalf of this guy's name, Ben Verge. Virgie Bergens. Uh, Nailed it. Nailed it. Good job. Five guys, one cup. I didn't think. Five guys, one cup. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, fuck. Google that either. Technically, it's two words, but it's so funny. Uh, We've got Richard Earl Deary, Long long Hung Silvers. (laughs) How long Uh, is this game? Uh, submissions. Pay for. Yeah, you realize yeah, that Erica just had to pay an extra day months. on the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> We've got about 10 Airbnb so Harry, your pants. Carrie, of- <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, on behalf of Razvan, Diarrhea Queen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Danny Gallagher again. Uh, shake Baby Shack. <laughs> <laughs> shake Baby Shack. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Brianna Calkins, uh, Gout, In and Gout Burger. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, Dave Adler, five guys, two girls, and a cup. Too many words. It's too, too, many, too many words. All right. We've got. Um, Kira, on behalf of uh, Jen Winkleplek, uh, well, Blue Waffle House, so another entry for that one. Okay. Richard Earl Deary, Crappa John's or Booger King? <laughs> Booger King. <laughs> Doesn't change much again. Uh, <laughs> what else we got? Richard Earl Deary, uh, instead of Hooters, we have Shooters. <laughs> that's an actual restaurant in cleveland shooters yeah, and it's also what people do there so yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh danny gallagher catholic church's chicken <laughs> <laughs> richard earl deary uh hominos Oh God! Homo nose. Homo nose. Night wheel. Dipping drugs. Oh, instead okay. of like dipping dots. I don't yeah. know the restaurant. And then My then favorite the restaurant last... has always been dipping dots, so I feel that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, they're a food stand at the... a ball game. That counts. All right. Mm-hmm. Does not count. Uh, okay, and then great. the last one I have is Evan Greenberger Apple Worms. Apple works. Oh. All, right. <laughs> All right, we have so many to choose from. Um, let's start with Erica's vote, since she uh, hates how long this game went. So, Erica, what, what's your what's your favorite one? I was I was gonna say nobody nobody said Olive Garden. 
<laughs> Does it need to be ruined? Name of the restaurant with one word. Yeah, it's just yeah. bad and en- bad enough. Um, what's your What's your favorite of the contestants? Well, I'm a, I'm gonna say because I thought of it too. So obviously, it's the best one. Would be Dick Filet. Dick Filet, absolutely. All right. One also, solid the double entendre. We like the double meaning with it, which is like that. That's like their biggest, you know, nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I like the idea that their, uh, uh, their billboards are just a bunch of vaginas being like, "Eat more dick," instead of the yeah. <laughs> campaign by the way i was like as i was going as i was doing that i was like you guys better fucking get this reference otherwise this is gonna be real bad (laughs) yeah i like it thank you thank you Uh, dr dj alex who do you you got okay first of all i just want to let you guys know that these would have instantly won the game for me if anyone said drunken donuts or (laughs) or wolfgang fox i would have been very excited (laughs) oh yeah what about Star Fox. Star Fox. <laughs> Too easy. The, but, uh, these sound like great restaurants, actually. That's not ruining a restaurant. That's enhancing their business plan. Yeah, I think Star Fox is called Raya. I don't know. If it's yeah. <laughs> wow. And just like Starbucks, everything there is pretty bitter. Uh, and i'm not allowed but, in yeah. okay go ahead yeah. <laughs> I said, Romo's, but um but i think uh catholic church's chicken was <laughs> all right catholic all church's right. chicken with a vote or, excellent or baskin robbins so i think oh, yeah. you, you gotta choose one uh, i'll go with uh, i'll go with catholic church's uh, church's catholic uh, the first one catholic yeah. church's Got chicken <laughs> Excellent. All right, cool. We got it. Mary Santora, what's your vote? Um, I think I'm gonna have to go In and Gout Burger. All right, In and Gout Burger. It is anyone's ball game right now. We got a three way tie. Uh, what about you, Ben? Um, well, first of all, I would just like to take a moment to thank our new sponsor of the show, the Olive Garden. Erica Rhodes fucking hates us. <laughs> Your, your family. Of course, Except you have a bottle Rose, of you olive never garden. Come back again. <laughs> where, where, when your family, they still want you to stay at their house. <laughs> and no one, no wonder Erica hates Olive Garden. She's super pissed at her family. <laughs> <laughs> my god treat you like family and just like you you're not allowed in you. right now <laughs> not allowed in hi Erica, ben. welcome your family here um you're gonna the wait for a table is just about 14 days <laughs> 30 30 days 30 days Jeez. Damn. all right uh, I, I, I love that ben um, just has olive garden salad dressing in his office like everything else is that under the yeah. office yep. pick up the, so the random is that at? <laughs> it's a pretty big office it's a pretty big office yeah um, <laughs> um i have a couple of my own entries before i enter my vote i would like to submit for your approval Sonic drive in me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or Sonic drive by, either way. The Jew Bakery Cafe. <laughs> Jew Bakery Cafe. <laughs> and you want um, to be my president. How dare you? <laughs> no, I didn't like that one either. I thought of it. I thought it was too good not to share. It offends me personally, but I still did it. <laughs> um, soft That's rock what I cafe. feel about this show, by the way. <laughs> what was that um, last one, Ben? Soft Rock Cafe. Oh, nice. <laughs> Revisionist Soup Plantation. <laughs> We've got Bar Louis C.K. <laughs> See what most comedy clubs have done. <laughs> <laughs> the International House of Leftover Pancakes. <laughs> Wrong Table Pizza. 
They just always bring the food to the wrong table. Nice. <laughs> Chuck E. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I just changed one letter. Black Anus Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the Bubba Gump Limb Factory. <laughs> but you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I also, uh, I also had the uh, international pose of pancakes. Uh, <laughs> just shoot it at you, and also the internet house of pancakes, which is basically how it works right now. So exactly, Ben. Ben, who was your spicy vote? arms? We got spicy arms. We got we got Cajun <laughs> legs. We got delicious super fried fingers. Ben, if you pull oh, out a awful. fucking prosthetic arm out of your office right now, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> He's looking for it. He's like, oh, I got it somewhere. Fuck off, man. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> like, are you a Hollywood prop master? Wait, you by the way, is that your secret wait, job? Th Thomas, Thomas Hennef on our front row just commented hard cock cafe <laughs> <laughs> cannot find a prosthetic arm i apologize i just looked up here. <laughs> anywhere <laughs> um, bye everybody i promised bye <laughs> <laughs> we, we need your vote, Steve. Oh, you can order your vote. Oh my God, Ben, what okay, was your so vote? I loved McFondle's Play Place because that definitely ruins the McDonald's Play Place. But I go with In and Gout Burger. All right, In and Gout In Burger, Burger with two with two votes right now. Uh, Queen Rachel, what about you? Uh, I like the one I couldn't pronounce. Colonoscopy F. Chang. Yes. One, Colonoscopy F. Chang's awesome with a vote. So right now, do I tie it up or well, I, do I I, 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 I? I haven't voted yet, Steve. I have to vote. Oh no 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 no! You're too busy with your doctor stuff. So oh, I'm gonna. Sorry, yeah, you you've got patients waiting outside. You're an essential worker, Chris. You can't just quit. <laughs> I've been waiting for five weeks to vote on a fast food restaurant, and this is not the opportunity. You fuckers. We did this show so we could talk about fucking fast food restaurants, and then the one All time right. I do, I can't come in. All right. Hey, so doctor. Ed. What's oh your Oh my vote? god. Uh, <laughs> I like a lot of ones were already said. Uh, uh, I really like, as a Bengals fan, I like Roethlisberger King, just because fuck that guy. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with Asshole Bees. I like Asshole Bees. By the way, yes, fuck that guy, whether you want to or not. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I got I to gotta say, I was very, very tempted to tie it up right now and vote for Catholic Church's Chicken, but I'm actually going to vote for one that none of y'all voted for, which is Shake Baby Shack. Because that is definitely not <laughs> something you want to do. Uh, I hear the I hear the wait there is very very long. Um, no, it's again it's up it's up and down is fine. Back and forth is bad. Up and down is okay. Yeah, that's Back right. And forth is bad. I haven't read Ben's parenting book yet. I don't know. Uh, that in. said, the doctor has weighed in. You can shake a baby aggressively. Up and down, and not just back and forth. Thank you, PhD Hot Dog BJ Slice Master Spin. <laughs> so, with that, that means the winner is In and Gout Burger, everybody. In and Gout Burger is the winner. Nice work. Nice work. Uh, holy shit, that was a ton of fun. You guys kicked kicked ass of that game once more. Uh, so much fun. And with that, uh, let's uh, let's do our shoutouts and all that stuff. So. Uh, we've already uh, we've already let the comics do their plugs. Just a married. reminder, we, we, though. We, 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 we're Mar Mary didn't do hers yet. Did she? Oh, Mary didn't do her plugs. No. Oh, sorry, because we talked about her show, so I apologize. So, Mary, okay. what's up? Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram at Mary Santora Comedy. That's where I do most of the shit. Uh, you can see me mowing a lawn on my Instagram story if that's something that interests you. Maybe your husband's not around anymore and you really feel like you need that presence in your life. Um, also <laughs> on Twitter is Mary underscore Santora. And then, like I said, I'll be headlining nowhere comedy club this Monday, 427. So that'd be great. Thank you. Excellent. Get your, get your tickets to see her at nowhere comedy club. Uh, Alex will be uh, running a yard sale of old sports memorabilia coming up soon. If you guys want to 
want to stop by and tell his brilliant father why he's stupid, that would be great. Uh, uh, I feel like since we didn't open with them, we should close with Alex's credits. But uh, that said, uh, let's go to Erica Rhodes. Do your plugs. What you got? Oh, um, I'm headlining Nowhere Comedy Club too. What, what's the date again? May twenty third, I believe. I May twenty third, so. yes. So, so get tickets. Uh, tickets are already available for that. And then you can just find me on Twitter at Erica Rhodes. You can get my album Sad Lemon. And yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> that's a great Excellent. name for an album. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Can I can I mention one more thing that people might enjoy? Absolutely, Please. Alex. I, I because we were bored. This is gonna be too Jewy for some of you, but I, I put together this thing called Saturday Night Seder with a bazillion uh, with a bazillion Jewish celebrities and stuff. And so far, we've raised three million dollars for the CDC Foundation, and, um, no. and yeah, which is too much money, frankly. I I, I wanted some of it. But um, yeah. <laughs> do that for the comics, Alex. Do that for the comics. Dude, I'm not kidding. I didn't know it was gonna raise that much money. I'm not. I thought- <laughs> <laughs> Every celebrity we asked said yes. Like we asked Bette Midler, and she's like, "Yeah, I have nothing to do." So like, it's got like, <laughs> wow. We got a Dean and Bell to send the four questions. Like, frankly, it's a waste of everybody's time and talent. But it was so cool, and I wrote all this stuff with this guy Ben Pasek, who wrote La La Land and Dear Evan Hansen and shit it's good so just google saturday night seder it's it's i i actually have had people recommend that to me and i didn't even know it was yours and i was also very offended that i was that i was not asked to sing imagine with you guys um i I I also yeah same yeah and there apparently were there's a billion jewish celebrities and steve and i both were not asked that is some bullshit you know, celebrities, I celebrities. I did. He had me do it, and I'm not even Jewish. What the fuck? Yeah. That? That's crazy. Look, we needed a doctor. We needed a hot dog doctor. <laughs> Bowers actually led the prayer over the hot dog, the customary <laughs> Passover hot dog prayer. Uh, yeah. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, That's awesome. By the way, Alex, congratulations on doing something so amazing. And, like, we were so proud on this show that, you know, we've raised, like, 10 grand for for out of work comics. And, and, uh, yeah, you know, apparently we're, we're, we're dog shit. So, well, well, thanks. Thanks for that. The problem is, Alex's mom is still not impressed. She's like, "Uh, call me when it's five million, pussy. Yesterday, she went, hey, Alex, guess how much money Comic Relief raised last night? I was like, what, Mom? She's like, $27 million. And she didn't say anything else. She just let me. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you only got one of the stars from Beaches. So how's that feel? <laughs> uh, all right. With with that, um, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, again, you know, thanks to our, uh, to our front row who joined us here. We really appreciate you guys. You all were wonderful. Um, yes. And, uh, and, and with that, um, Chris Bowers, what do you want to plug? Uh, just at Bowers Comedy. I've got a Nowhere show May 10th. Um, so NowhereComedy.club.com for that May 10th. Uh, and Bowers album is my new album. Uh, Unpopular Opinions is out right now. So find that out in the world. Ben. I love that. Uh, thank you so much, Bowers. Um, I have been looking around. I don't have a prosthetic arm, but I do have one of these. So that's exciting. You know, we do have this. That's You know what I mean? So the great news there. What is that? That's a harmonica. Plutonium? What is that? No, that is not a harmonica. Well, there's something Obviously. that you got during your presidential <laughs> run. Did you get any cool stuff? Do you have like Pete Buttigieg's war medals or something now? Like, what <laughs> no, I did. I got a, I got a really cool pen that was given to me at the Veterans Freedom Center. What's in the box? In Iowa. <laughs> No, ben, what's the, 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 the box? <laughs> what's it? All it's right, Gwyneth well, Paltrow's head. Box. Holy fuck! What's the box? It's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. I can't get it out. I think it's stuck in there, and this whole bit is ruined. I can't. That's what she said. <laughs> for, <laughs> for another episode, but I of course also do have a box. Of <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> no, you gotta tell us what's in the box. What's in the box? In the box. And show us your dildos. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Anger, baby, cliffhanger. 
I do have a Patreon you can you can check out at patreon.com slash Ben Lieb. Check out Neurotic Gangster on YouTube or Amazon Prime, my special, and check out Idiot Test, my game show on Netflix. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you all hey for guys, being here. Hey, guys, what's the game for tonight? Uh, we're not the doing. Game, we're not doing. Yeah, game we're not going to do an overnight right. game tonight. Um, but okay. also, uh, I'd like to remind everybody that Ben also has a Nowhere Comedy Club show coming up. Uh, so get those tickets as well. And as always, uh, tonight is a Saturday. Um, so I will be hosting Ask Us Anything with Daniel Muggleton, where we have a, a fun uh, interactive comedy show. Uh, it's, I mean, a little, a little like this, kind of, I guess. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's stand up. That's all ad libbed. Um, I, I very much appreciate you guys, uh, you know, tuning into the show as always, sharing it with your friends, which is, you know, one of the ways that this keeps growing. Uh, so, you know, putting your comments and your likes and, and, and all that stuff, which is awesome. Supporting the show, which is great. Um, uh, Ben is going to drink some of his salad dressing Ew! now. Ew! <laughs> um, no. I swear to God, real quick, I promise you, I thought he was pouring that onto a small hot dog. I really thought that that's what that was. That he had like a cocktail weenie and he was yeah. on it. Hey, Bowers thought so too, and that's why he came. So <laughs> I... Oh, and a run for president when you live in an apartment where you can reach everything in the apartment from your desk. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, uh, this was so much fun. And uh, clearly I'm going to go work out now because I've been shamed. So thank you so much uh, for Still tuning in. You guys were, yes, it is. I, I can breathe when I get out of a car, Ben. Anyway, uh, you guys were, you, you guys were wonderful. It was a joke trying to end on a funny thing. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Mary. Bye, Alex.